worked under both Dana White and Vince McMahon. Could you compare and contrast to that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you can say no comment. <laughs> um, I think that um, both guys are very business savvy, and, and um, I admire both of them. You know, when I worked for Vince, um, he taught me a lot of things, and um, he is a very, very good businessman. I mean, he's, he's uh, he knows how to promote shows, and he knows what he's doing, and and, um, and I've had nothing but uh, you know a great time working with Dana thus far. So I mean, even though our relationship is. Uh, very premature. Well, I have no, you know, everything. Life is good. Hopefully, it gets better. The first one, do you have pressure for the first time ever going to the lockdown? Well, I mean, there's, there's a little pressure, but I mean, I'm not gonna piss my pants or anything like that. You know, I mean, we prepared in this camp, uh, you know, to, to fight Frank, and and um, I've had a good training camp. You know, none of this, this is nothing new to me. It's being in front of you people, you know, um, eight, you know, 10, 12 years now, you know, through college and whatnot and this, that, and the other, but no, I mean, it's going to be an honor to get in the octagon finally. And uh, finally, uh, in the OC that's come in the whole, uh, a lot of fans uh, say that you are going to be winner by 70, uh, 30%. What do you think about that? They probably said I was going to win with the F5 too. Maybe the, my old move that I used to use. So who cares? <laughs> Actually, the line in this fight, Scotty Gardner told me here at Manly Bay, Brock Lesnar is just a little under a two to one favorite, and Nogueira is just under a little uh, a two to one favorite too. Numbers? Oh, he didn't give it to me. He just said it both. Just a little. 170. There you go. Thank you. Both of them? 170? I think I was 160. <laughs> 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 I always perform better with that dog, so it's great. <laughs> Brock? Back here. Um, there's a lot of fans, MMA fans, and of course some of your peers, MMA fighters. They're calling Brock Lesnar like a sacrificial lamb being thrown into the Shark Tank. What can people expect from your performance on Saturday night, and how do you see this fight finishing or ending? Well, I, I can't predict the, the future, obviously, but I'm very confident that uh, we've got a great game plan going into this fight. You know, <clears throat> it is what it is. You know, I'm, I'm glad that Dana and uh, the UFC were able to, to get behind me and to able to give me a shot. And um, they're taking a huge gamble, and, and uh, people might think that, uh, you know, I've said this before, that that uh, I might be getting thrown with wolves, but I wouldn't have it any other way. You know, I said, I want to I want to be be able to step in the octagon and prove myself, and, and uh, there's only there's only two scenarios out of this. I mean, a guy such as myself with the notoriety that I have because of pro wrestling, you know, let's do it the right way and, and find a, a, the right guy, the right opponent, and let's do it big and, and, and you know, capitalize on it or, you know, there's, and, and, and see what happens. But for me, this is, I'm, this is very serious for me. This is my career. You know, I finally feel like uh, this is what I, I, I really am meant to be doing. What kind of advice or uh, criticism or comments have you received from some of the current UFC fighters on you know, you're you entering the UFC. Uh, don't quit your day job. Uh, no. Everybody's been pretty cool. Everybody's, you know, like when I first went down to, to Iowa and, and met with Tim in uh, the Militich camp and and um, you know everybody's been everybody's been cool about it. Now the reality sets in and, and um, let's see what what uh, what I can do and uh, I'm up for I'm up for the challenge. That's like the first time I, I met with Dana. You know, I said, you know, let's just wh whomever. I'll fight anybody. Let's let's uh, let's do it. I want to be with your company and, and let's do it right. So, you know, everybody's been really good. Everybody, you know, I I understand. You know, everybody. <clears throat> I think um, I think um, you know everybody's been 
there's some guys with their with their guard up and, and uh, but everybody's been real real nice and I appreciate that. Sean Shirk says he's he's he's, he's going to do very well. So I'm just going to walk around with a big question mark on my back until Saturday <laughs> night. That's all it's been. So you know I'm looking forward. I appreciate Frank taking the fight. I really do. And and um, you know we're going to. I hope he brings his A game. You know and I know he will. You know everybody that's that fights here. I'm I'm very excited for this. You know and if you know. Let's, let's do it, buddy.